swing path can affect your chipping. I want you to watch this short clip of Tiger Woods at the 2023 Genesis Invitation. Watch what he does in between the two shots, how he changes his setup to change the path and direction and flight of the golf ball. So the first shot that he hits is an out in swing path and you can see the launch of the ball and what happens to it. But then he changes his setup, he changes his feet position, he changes where he's aiming with his body and then the club comes from a completely different position and it comes from the in to out path. And notice what happens to the ball flight and what happens to the ball itself. I want to talk to you about the technical effects of what he's actually done there and how it can actually help you. So I want you to think about your chipping like ping pong. Think about how you'd create backspin by hitting a ball and think about how you'd create topspin by hitting a ball. The paths are very, very similar in ping pong as they are to golf. With an out to in swing path, we're cutting underneath the ball. And in effect, what we do is we create more dynamic loft at the point of impact. So we create higher launch with more spin and therefore the ball stops quicker. And with an in to out swing path, we create a lower launch, which has more top spin, and therefore that ball rolls out further. So what this will enable you to do is it will enable you to add another two shots to your already standard chip shot. Because with practice, these shots can be incredibly effective. So get out there, practice these shots around the green with your wedges, and really start to think outside the box with what you can do and what you can achieve with your short game start creating a bit of magic around the greens.